everyone, my name is Dejanae D'Antonio and welcome to Kingdom Conversations where we invite an environment of healing through vulnerable and transparent conversations led by God. Guys, I know, I know y'all, it's been so long. Like, I know you like sis, okay? Where have you been? But God has released me to start recording again and I am super, 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 super excited to start creating more content that's around healing, that's around whatever God wants me to do. So I just want to catch you up with my life in like one minute so you can know where I am. The last video I did, it was about the clarion call to all fraternities and sororities. And I received an overwhelming response of love. Some people was trying it, but 90% of it was love. And I just thank each and every one of you for commenting, for sharing it, for just all that you did. Even though I haven't been, you know, promoting it or marketing it, whatever, you guys have been showing up and it reached over a thousand views and that's big for me because i just started the channel and we reached a hundred subscribers y'all i didn't even get to i wanted to do a video for it just thanking you guys i just that's a whole nother talk for another day but i just want to thank all of my subscribers i think we're uh close to like 120 right now so i just want to thank all of my subscribers thank you for subscribing and y'all, even though you haven't seen content in a few months, I just thank you so, 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 so much. I promise I'm back for good this time. Um, I'm just so excited. So just a few updates. So the first update is I launched some shirts called Shop Everything Kingdom. So I was having a business meeting with God and he downloaded that I needed to come out with the t-shirt line. So I was like, okay, I'm a graphic designer. I'm very creative. And I, I went, flipped back through my journal and I found some um, t-shirt ideas that I had in mind and God was like, now is the time to use it. So this, this is actually one of the shirts. If you are interested in purchasing a shirt, go ahead and click the link in the description. I have some hoodies and things coming out. I know it's like that in between weather where it's cool outside but not necessarily hot yet not necessarily summer so i thought this was the perfect time to kind of have like those crop hoodies i'll make sure i'll wear one in my next video so you can see them but they are now available on etsy so this is one of the signature shirts it says oily anointed set apart and chosen and if you are watching kingdom conversations that means you are oily you are anointed you are set apart and you are chosen so click the link in the description if you are interested in purchasing a shirt also i feel like this is like uh what they call it um the uh the uh the um the church announcements that's what i feel like this is <laughs> um also I wrote a devotional so it's so funny because one of my subscribers who are now my sister she reached out to me and she was like I don't even know you but God told me that you were going to write a journal like a devotional and it was going to be amazing and I was like okay and after praying and fasting God released me to write it I think it took me about three months God was like you need to get this done and you need to get it out um, it is called Reflections of a Godly Woman, and it's a devotional. It's so good. I poured my heart and soul into it, and Holy Spirit was flowing through me as I was writing it the whole entire time. So I'll also link that in the description for you to purchase. It is available on Amazon. So last update, uh, I moved, so I'm no longer in the place that I was in, and I'll do a video about that whole season and what all of that entailed, but I'm in a new place. I know you can see the new background, okay? The, the plant stays, she's not going anywhere, but I'm in a new place, I'm in a new season. So I'm just excited for all that God has for me. But 
enough about my life okay i know you came here for the topic life after denouncing right so the last video i did like i said it was about me denouncing from aka and i know a lot of you are probably thinking okay like what now like how was the process how was the journey and all of that and so i wanted to come on here and just kind of update you about that whole process and where i am today so I know a common question that a lot of people may have is, do your former line sisters still talk to you? And the answer is yes, I love them. And we still keep in communication with each other. Like we are sisters outside of AKA, we are still sisters. So I still keep in contact with my former line sisters. They are still my sisters. Um, there's no bad blood. There's no like, oh, you left us. It's none of that. And one thing that I realized that in this whole denouncing journey was that you see the people who are really for you when you're no longer attached to the thing that either they wanted to be a part of or that they are currently a part of. And that was huge for me. It was a few people that um, were close to me and because in my denouncing process they kind of backed away from me and i realized that some people wanted or wanted to be my friend or some people wanted to have their relationship to me because my attachment to aka so once i broke that people fell off okay and i'm i'm so okay with that because i know that in every season people are going to fall over and every season people are not going to be able to go with you so i'm completely okay with that i made peace in it all and i don't have any bad blood with anybody y'all like i am i'm not a drama filled person that is not my ministry okay that is not my portion so um even the people that kind of fell off i still pray for them i still love them from a distance but it's the reality of it that was one of the things that um i realized in this journey so another thing that i also wanted to talk about was grief so and this is the things that i don't really hear too many people talking about so when you are a part of something when you are in a relationship when you are tied to something that you know that has been a part of your life for years you go through a grieving process you go through a grieving process and i literally felt i never been married before but i literally felt like this denouncing process that i was going through a divorce like i'm like this is crazy i feel like i'm going through a breakup like it was just so crazy all of the i had moments where i was just crying and i was just crying out to god like god i don't understand why you did this you know like it, it was it was such a process that i had to go through and even times now i'm still going through it hasn't been a full year um since i denounced so it's still times that i'm triggered it's still times where i feel like wow okay this is really a thing i'm no longer a part of this thing anymore in january they just had their founders day and that day was kind of hard for me i couldn't get on social media i could not get on social media because i knew that i was going to be triggered and i knew that that was going to be something that was hard for me so i didn't get on social media and i just prayed and, and just tried to uh my best friend was like this is the time that you're supposed to rejoice and i was just like i ain't feeling that right now honestly it sounds good in theory but to actually do it um I, it just didn't feel good and i got maybe like midway through the day and i remember i had a speaking engagement in jacksonville in october of last year and a young lady she had on a sweater from an organization and holy spirit led me to go talk to her and i'm like god this is just you want me to go talk to this girl that i do not know and he didn't tell me what to say in a moment he just said confirmation so it, it so happened to play out that right before the event was over we ended up beside each other and the holy spirit just kept pressing on me say something say something say something say something so after the event was over i went up to i went up to her and i asked her um whether she was involved in any you know rites of passage or you know a, a a process did she have to go through a process did she have to be involved in any rituals or also ceremonies to join this organization and she said yes and i said can i pray for you and i prayed for her and one of the things that holy spirit had me to say to her was that she was already wrestling with this and that me coming to her and praying for her was the confirmation she needed to denounce 
so I took down her information and I continued to pray over her and um I want to say maybe a week or maybe a week or two after that she reached out and she was like I denounced and you know I talked to my my sisters and they denounced and all I could do was just praise God I was just like thank you God the fact that I was obedient the fact that you used me as a vessel the fact that I didn't shy away and say God I don't know this girl I'm not going to speak to her I opened my mouth and I was able to free somebody else and it just blessed me so much so on that day in January when it was their founders day um she just happened to text me and say hey i've officially submitted all of the the information to officially denounce and i was just like oh my gosh thank you god one of the things that i was praying for on that day was i said god give me a new memory let something happen on this day that will overwhelm how i feel right now and that happened and she texted me and i was just praising god and i was just like thank you god that just because i wasn't afraid just because you gave me the boldness it wasn't me let's be clear it wasn't me because god you gave me the boldness to open my mouth and say something to this young lady she is now free and she brought people with her so that was just such a highlight on that day and now when that day comes i can think about how i was able to help someone become free from the organization that they were part of instead of thinking about me being a part of that old organization so um that was just such a highlight for me and it helped it helped me to really just have that new memory so i encourage anyone if you have denounced and you just feel like you're grieving let allow yourself allow yourself to feel right because ultimately you're breaking a soul tie when you're breaking a soul tie it feels like a divorce it feels like a breakup like you're literally detaching yourself from this thing and some people have been in this these organizations for 20 and 30 and 40 years just think about having being a part of something for that long and having to detach yourself right it's a process that you have to go through so i would just encourage anyone who's going through that allow yourself to feel allow yourself to go through that process if you once you notice that you have triggers like maybe on that day on that founders day or maybe on that charter day or maybe or your old probate day you may feel triggered try to work on creating new memories so ask god god give me a new memory on this day so it will overwhelm the past memory of what this organization used to mean for me and that has helped me so much in this process another thing that i had to do was of course get rid of everything that i've owned that uh, was a part of the organization so once i was able to do that that was another form of breaking that soul tie from the organization so that just was a uh, monumental for me another thing that i encountered while in this while in the the process is people speaking against me or people literally slandering my name or people like speaking word curses against me for example so basically it was a woman who basically was like god didn't tell her to do that she shouldn't have done that once an aka always an aka and to the natural eye or some or someone who's who's not tapped into god like you know you say that and just roll off your back but for me that's something you're speaking against my name so i had to come out of agreement with any word curses that was being spoken against me that i didn't know about so also if someone is also going through this denouncing process right now you just need to come out of agreement with any word curses that were spoken over you that you didn't know about or and you need to um just bind when you bind something that means you're tying something up so that it no longer has any power so you need to bind any word curses that were spoken over your life regarding well in general but especially regarding the organization that you were a part of because nine times out of ten someone's out there speaking negatively against your decision to denounce especially if you did it publicly like i did so just be mindful and be prayerful about those things because it's real okay so i had to just go ahead and just pray against that because i know that even to this day even when someone watches this video right it's someone out there that's probably going to speak negatively against me and that's okay because guess what i am 
the daughter of a king, okay? And God don't play about his kids. So I am not worried. God fights all of my battles. Um, so yeah, just be mindful of that. And I would say the last thing will be backlash. And that kind of goes into like the whole word curses. Just the comments and things that I received negatively from making a decision to denounce. And I encourage you that once again, if this is something that you have done publicly, don't even feed into the nonsense, right? Like I didn't even comment on i commented on some of the comments um like one lady was like well if this is something that's between you and god why are you doing this publicly and i said the same way i was proud to represent this organization publicly is the same way that i'm going to denounce it publicly right so there were a few responses that i felt led to reply to but nine like about 90 percent of the comments that were negative i didn't even respond because i didn't have to my decision to denounce was not based on anyone it was not based on validation from anybody this was something that god told me to do this was something that i was obedient in and i knew that the backlash was going to come but i had a choice whether i wanted to feed into the backlash or feed into the people who were dming me and saying thank you for this because of this i have denounced or because because of this, I made a decision to not even join the organization that I was thinking about joining. That was so much more fulfilling than the negativity. So you have to make sure that you're focusing on the positive of it all. You have to make sure that you're focusing on the obedience of it all, right? So that is another thing that I want you to keep in mind. So, um, yeah, that's really it, guys. Like in this process just stay prayed up right just make sure that you are surrounded by people who understand if you are going through a denouncing process and you are not connected to out from among them ministries i encourage you to reach out to them they're on facebook you can reach out to them to join the group and it is a massive a community of women and men who have denounced organizations i've also connected with a woman who she denounced a christian organization and i was like oh my gosh i have to get your story i have to know your experience because y'all was coming for me in the comments about christian sororities and how it's a thing okay and i believe that it's a double negative i believe that you cannot be a part of a christian sorority like the only brothers and sisters you need to have is in Christ. Okay, so the fact that she denounced that I wanted to know her story and depending on how she feels or her comfort level, I may even have her on and just interview her so that you can get you guys can hear her perspective about it because I think it's it was just it was so good to me that um we think that we can just put Christian on things and it makes it of god but it's not like christian yoga or um christian sage or these things that we try to add christian to and they're still not of god just because you add a name to it <laughs> doesn't mean that it's of god so these christian organizations are not of god either okay so um, i'm going to see if she will be willing to come on and talk because that just blessed me so much but yes if you're going through this denouncing process if you're thinking about going through this process understand that you are not alone understand that there is light on the other side of the tunnel if you need to reach out to me for prayer i'm your sister in christ i'm always here to pray with you to pour into you to just be that light to help guide you out to the other side so that has been my journey thus far it is still a process it is still it's, it's healing i always say healing is a journey not a destination and even in this process it's a journey it's a journey i believe that once i make it through a year that'll be another milestone once i make it through five years and 10 years and 20 years um that will be a milestone so it's it's a process y'all and in everything that i say if you are currently denouncing if you're thinking about it or if you've already denounced um you'll get to the place where your god is will tap into that bonus that he's already placed on the inside of you to set other people free to actually have a conversation with them but another thing the last thing that i want to say is that god had to check my heart because for like five minutes <laughs> my heart was hardened towards people who were still a part of the organization and i had to really have a come to Jesus moment because 
I realized that I was still in God and I was still a part of the organization. But it wasn't until God brought light to it that I denounced. But it didn't diminish who I was in God because I just didn't know, right? But once I knew that this was something that I couldn't be a part of, I had to do something about it. So I had to soften my heart towards the people who were just ignorant. And I mean, I don't mean that in a negative way, just literally not knowing that this was something that they needed to come out of instead of judging them and saying, well, mm, they ain't a real Christian because they are part of this organization. I'm gonna be real. This is this is a channel of transparency and vulnerability. Um, so God really had to work on my heart with that and don't try to force it down anyone's uh, throat that you may have some friends or you may have some family members or even former line sisters or line brothers that are still in it you can't force it down their throat all you can do is pray for them it is our job to plant seeds and allow God to water them so literally the people around me I've planted seeds they know where I stand on it now I just continue to pray and allow God to water them. And if they come to me and say, okay, I'm ready. What do I need to do? I'm going to rejoice and I'm going to walk them through that process. But you cannot sit there and pound something down someone's throat. You cannot sit there and be self-righteous. You cannot sit there and judge them. You cannot sit there and toot your nose up like you're holier than thou because that is not the case. You have to give them grace just like God gives us grace every single day. You have to show them compassion and you have to pray for them. You have to pray for them and, and know that God is watering that seed. And when he says it's time for them to come out, they will do so. So just like the young woman at the conference, she was already at that point where she was ready to denounce. She just needed one more confirmation. She just needed that seed being watered one more time for her to come out of that thing. And God used me in such a way to be able to, you know, bless her and help her come out of that organization. And I know say I, that was the last point, but lastly, <laughs> lastly, for real, for real, um, be willing to be used by God. Because when you come out of this thing, God, at some point, God is going to have you to be bold and help other people come out. And you have to be willing and you have to be available. It's scary going up to people that you may not even know. You may not even really understand how they feel about it or where they are. But if God tells you to do it, do it. Only be led by God because if you try to go to someone sooner than they're ready, they won't have the heart or the ears to receive what you're saying to them and then their heart would just be hardened to the whole situation but if you go to them when god tells you to when god leads you to then it was some work that god was already pruning on the inside of them that they just need that last final push to be released and to uh detach from their organization so be available be willing be bold pray and make sure that you bind any word curses against you Allow yourself to feel through the grieving process. Allow yourself to, to cry. Allow yourself to weep. Allow yourself to go through that. Throw away any old paraphernalia that you may have. Delete any pictures that you may have. If you even have to unfollow some people on Instagram, I had to go through my Instagram and unfollow all of the sorority and fraternity pages that I was following because it's a trigger for me. So I had to go and just unfollow those things. So go ahead and just clean up those residual pieces that are in your life that you need to get rid of so that you can fully detach from the organization and start your healing journey because it's a healing journey. So that's it guys. I hope that this blessed you so much. Don't forget if you're interested in purchasing a shirt, one of many oily, this is one of my favorite shirts. Um, you can click the link in the description. Also, if you wanna purchase a devotional, link in the description if you need prayer you can dm me on instagram and yes guys i'm back in full effect and i am so excited okay i'm just gonna allow god to do his thing right because it's conversations led by God. So I'm gonna allow God to do his thing and move through me. But I thank you so much for the overwhelming love and support and shares and comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.